say YouTube make sure my mic is plugged in so this is the area that we're staying in and uh, this is over not far from Poconos PA and um, it's a nice area me and my wife are gonna take a little ride I had to drop something off to the kids they're playing but they have this little lake area we're staying up that hill up there which is it's nice it's really nice nice getaway and um, I'm a little south of 209 Pennsylvania not far <laughs> not far from uh, 209 gentleman they told me I dropped the glove which is nice my wife put the glove on top of the seat and wind blew it off anyway so not far from 209 and um, the name escapes me right now up over here uh, Pocono Mountain Valley that's what they have there but there's another name and I can't friggin remember treetops is actually it's called yeah well that's what the signs usually would say treetops over here so uh, yeah I'm gonna take a little ride down to the Delaware water gap area and check out that area and um, kind of go from there so um, anyway thank you guys for checking out the different little episodes that I've been clipping the videos in I've been using my cell phone to edit use the app called Kinmaster because uh, the Sony's audio codec not many apps can decipher that for some reason and on a droid it won't play it I think on an iPod it won't play it neither and I would have brought my mesh jacket which would have been better for right now because it's about a good 65 60 something degrees it's not bad out but I couldn't find a liner for it so I just brought my waterproof jacket my tour master which is a pretty good jacket it's got a lot of venting so you can open up the vents and that way you get air in it otherwise you'll sweat to death anyway we'll come back in a bit so over here this is actually where we came for our third honeymoon was it Pocono Palace over here you go straight down that way really nice place a little a little cheesy okay you know a little cheesy but it was nice it was a decent stay we had a good time where would we go again uh, I don't know maybe but uh it, it was a nice place it was like this they had all the, the whole actual room area it was a big dome made up of a couple different rooms and they're all cut into triangles I guess you could say out of the dome and in each room you'd have a hot tub shaped in a heart some of them had them had like a wine glass <laughs> it's kind of funny some of them had like a wine glass that uh you could climb up into and get in and then if you go all the way in the back there was like a each room had their own pool and i thought that was kind of cool but uh yeah so you know we would go in there and you could do your own little private skinny dipping in your own pool which is cool <laughs> yeah i just wanted to tell you a little bit about that so uh i don't know where have you guys ever gone to for your honeymoons for those of you who are married or if you're not married I, oh have you ever taken a young lady somewhere that was romantic let me know leave a comment down below I'll be back in a little bit riding two up so I try to allow for a, a bit more space when braking just a bit more space a bit more reaction time the rear shock isn't doing too bad it's not great but it's not doing too bad for two up and uh, I just try to take my time and roll along I'm not in any rush it is a windy day though man is it windy I feel the wife I can feel the wife gripping my, uh, she's gripping my sides. Well, she doesn't have her overpants on. She just has her jeans on. I have my Kevlar pants on, but I kind of have the engine right under me, so I don't really feel too much. Not like you would think. And 
but it is a windy day. It's been windy all week out here. They've even had like tornadoes down in the Delaware area, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. But uh, yeah, bike does good to up and top box adds just that much more comfortability so that she'll have something to, uh, you know, pretty much to lay on. There goes a Wawa. You don't see these in New York. There's a lot of stuff you don't see in New York. So I got a question for you guys. I thought I was going to turn the camera off, but I got a question for you guys. Huh? I need the heat to come off this thing and warm me up. Oh, okay. So I got a question for you guys. How do you like... When you ride a two-up, what, how do you, what's the preferred method for you to have your partner mount on the bike? This is curious. Uh, my wife seems to gravitate, gravitate towards uh, getting on from the brake side with me holding a bike upright, straddling it. I have done the kickstand route, having a kickstand down and then uh, mounting the bike like that. You know, we've done that before, but then it is a thing of taking the bike off the kickstand. And uh, I don't know, I'm just curious to some of you guys that ride two up more often, what is it that you prefer? What method do you prefer? Well, what works for you? So uh, yeah, you can let me know about that down below in the comments. Alrighty come back in a little bit I'll probably try and turn on the second camera heading down on to down to 191 I'm on 209 right now I was just looking at the maps and looking at Google Maps and planning a little short ride that we could go on nothing crazy just something short something to do I'll be back in a little bit